Hello and welcome to my course on Milwaukee Battery Repair. I've been repairing these for a couple of years and I'm going to show you some of the diagnostic and repair techniques I picked up along the way. So if you have a few faulty batteries or just want the greater knowledge of battery technology, specifically Milwaukee in this case, this course is for you. Episode 6, Circuit Board Removal. So in the last episode, we showed you reset techniques after you replace cells and sometimes even if you don't replace cells you can have you can have board failure and even though your battery has shown a good chargeable voltage over 18 volts like this and well balanced cells yeah well balanced cells there. Let's see, you can get in there. Yep. The board fails to reset, or the board fails to work for some reason of failure. Your only choice is replace it with one of these. This is a. This is what I do. I replace these with. You can't get these legitimately off Milwaukee. I have to buy these through. Basically people who manufacture them aftermarket. So in order to fit this, you must first remove the old one. I must add that before you replace the circuit board, you should definitely make sure there's no broken connections in the battery, that it's shown full voltage, and also that the cells are fairly well balanced across the pack. When removing this board, you need three things. You need a soldering iron, and you need a T8 Torx to remove these two screws here and you need a wee sharp screwdriver to pry up these two spot welds for the plus and minus on either side. So you start by popping up these spot welds, this is the plus and minus on either side. You can see that right, it's heavily spot welded. But we will be using solder to refit the new board, but that's for another episode. So that's the two spot welds popped up. And you take out the two screws. You all need these for later, so be careful with them. Don't lose them, because the new boards do not come with screws with those screws out we have to desolder these four points one two three four and keep the nickel as intact as we can for easing for connecting to the new board so we're just going to put a bit of flux on each one of them i use this flux um you can use anything really It's not too hard to desolder. I want to see, and there's a little bit here, it's a, like a wee safety thing that's actually holding the board down. I forgot about that. I'll have to get that up first before we. For the last to lift the board off. So we'll desolder these. Which is not any very great toy. It's not too difficult. This one's the drive me difficult, so <clears throat> there we are. That's the points desoldered there. I suppose there's just holding on a little bit, but that's them off now. So that's how you desolder and remove the board from a Milwaukee battery. So tune in for the next episode and I'll show you how to fit this board 
Oh, to this racing battery.